Now, KwaZulu Natal's ANC's executive committee has taken a hard line against members who campaign for other political parties. This is for the upcoming elections. The party, you'll remember, has resolved to provisionally suspend those members who are guilty of de-campaigning the ANC, they say, uh, briefing the media on the outcomes of the provincial PEC meeting, the secretary, Begim Dolo, expressing confidence in the party's chances to secure a win in the much-anticipated elections. Well, let's uh, speak to Begim Dolo now on a variety of some of the issues that came out of the briefing yesterday. Mr. Dolo, thank you very much for your time. Let's begin with service delivery because that touches at the core of how residents are either experiencing service delivery or they are seeing None of it. You've announced plans to dedicate time to service delivery issues for the whole month of February in KZN or specifically in Etegwini. Can I ask why the choice of Etegwini and some residents will be asking, why now? So, thanks, uh, colleague. Uh, greetings to your viewers. Uh, you will remember that Etegwini uh, has been uh, prone to, to, to floods now and natural disasters almost um, just in the past three years, Etewin has suffered more than four times of floods and devastating floods. Then the, the infrastructure that has been there has been, has, been, has been affected a lot, especially when it comes to water and sanitation. Mm. You all remember the last floods that were happened before the floods that happened last week. Etewin lost almost, almost to three billion uh, infrastructure mm. in terms of estimated value, uh, where in some instances, the whole water treatment plant would be wiped away. The whole sewer treatment plant would be wiped away. Just one um, uh, water treatment plant that um, is at the Northern Works, they call it Northern Works, uh, they estimated the loss to be at around three, three, three hundred million. But unfortunately, when they have to bring engineers and then try to revamp that, that, that water uh, treatment plant and then have to go to tender, they discovered that uh, they, they, they literally uh, uh, estimated very less. Yeah. It, it came close to a billion rand, uh, just one just one project. Then we think um, because of the, uh, the, the, uh, the effect of floods in Etewini, they also need uh, uh, urgent inter uh, attention and a specific attention. We've got lots to get through, Mr. Mdol. I'm going to ask you to be quite brief in your responses. Some people listening to you are going to say, you are dedicating time to Etegwini because of obvious reasons, and that is that it is the only metro in the province, and you are quite scared of it falling into the hands of the opposition, which is not a far-fetched idea given the coalition that it is run through right now. Lady Smith has also seen devastation. Why not dedicate time there? No, they, they got to remember we can't pro, we can't pray by people to have bad views and opinions. That is their, their, their democratic right. But in terms of objective reality, uh, remember, Etewini is not only the, the metro, it's not only the biggest uh, populous uh, uh, municipality, but it's also the, the employer in terms of the economy. It's the employer of, um, of, uh, of almost 65% of the KZN population, including the people from Lady Smith, is also the, the, the second contributor in the, in the country's GDP. Then its position, it does not only affect the people of Etegwini, it affects the entire province and it affects the performance of national government. And the, the people and of Lady Smith, Mr. Mdolo, are suffering too. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying the people of Lady Smith are suffering too. But the people of Lady Smith suffer even worse when Etegwini suffers because majority of the people of Lady Smith, for their economic activity and their livelihood, they depend on the performance of Etewin as a metro and the economic hub of the province. Let's talk politics then. Minister Senzo Mkunu, in his capacity as ANC NEC member, he has been on the radio this morning, and I listened quite carefully. He is worried about what he says is a possible eruption of violence in Guazulu Natal because of the newly established MK party. Let me start with whether or not you agree with his sentiment. Uh, yes, there may be some, there, there are signs of, 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 
some features that are leading to that uh, a, a belief that there may be eruption of violence. But what we can say to the people of Fukuoka Natal, we can assure them that the police got capacity, uh, they will apprehend those who will, who, who will do criminality and they've, they've demonstrated uh, at least in the past three months. Uh, I think now criminals in case and they know that the police, they don't play the games. What are those signs that you're seeing, sir? Uh, you see, for example, the MK party, if I can put it that way, They've attracted some notorious characters. For example, the so-called uh, uh, construction mafias, not not uh, not black entrepreneurs that uh, do genuine business, but those who don't have a company, who don't do business, who just go with uh, guns and stop projects. All of those people, they've now joined the MK party, and then they've been stopping their development in Guazulu Natal. They've been stopping projects. They have been affecting our communities, and then we know how they operate. But we are not scared. We are ready for them. We are putting plans, and then uh, once they start that violence, uh, the police will come out on them. Well, e even more worrying for Mr. Mkunu is that, or should I say, are the specific words that are used by a person who's become the face of this MK party, and that is former President Jacob Zuma. He says... Former President Zuma's blaming of what he says, and I quote now, the Ramaphosa ANC for his decision to campaign for the MK party. He says this is designed to invite personal attacks against Ramaphosa. Do you agree with that? And might these concerns you have about the notorious characters also be channeled towards that? I agree that the intention of Jacob Zuma is to, is to achieve that eventuality, but unfortunately I think the people of KwaZulu Natal have grown um, to know uh, these characters, and then they've grown to know that violence is no longer in their long-term uh, uh, sustainability. And uh, I think in the majority, the people of KwaZulu Natal, they just know that uh, this is nonsense. They, they won't take it. Uh, and then we are, we are receiving a lot of support. To the, for example, to the meetings we're holding for all our structures in the, in the, in the, in the weekend that interacted with around 50,000 of our, of our caterers on the ground. Uh, people are agitated to defend not only the African National Congress, but they, are, they, are, they want to defend democracy. They want to defend peace. Because look, look, cool. people of Guazul Natal, they know a Guazul Natal that is violent. They know a Guazul Natal that is peaceful. They have chosen to live with a Guazuna that, that is more peaceful than the Guazuna that, that is violent. Mm. Mr. Mdolo, I I've got to ask you the question that says, how much personal responsibility do you take? Perhaps personalizing it might not be the, uh, a fair question to you. Let's, let's structure it this way. How much collective responsibility do you take for the kind of support that former President Jacob Zuma has enjoyed from yourselves immediately when you were elected. You rushed off to Ngandla for political wisdom. And here you are today. If I take you back to July 2021, the unrest, these people that are wearing military fatigues or the, the, the camouflage, they were there, and they were led by Karl Niehaus at the time. Now, you are seeing these people as a problem, and that is why you are saying security. And I assume, by the way, when you say security, you mean intelligence is watching the space very closely should violence erupt. How much collective responsibility do you take as the leadership in Guazul Natal for, for propping up? former President Jacob Zuba? No, for the don't mix issues. There are MK soldiers that still wear, wear, wear their MK regala even today, that they still go to an uh, ANC event. Those people were, were genuine MK soldiers. Uh, and majority of them, by the way, in Guazul Natal, they have not left with the MK party. Mm. The people who have left with the MK party are people who are few in the ANC, but generally just notorious thugs that uh, were roaming the streets of Kwazulu-Natal. 
They, they, they don't even know how to wear a regala, those ones, most of them. Then let's, let's separate. The MK has left in the, in the genuine MK combatants that they got a force number. They can tell you who was my commander in Tanzania, who was my commander in Angola. Those ones are left in the NC because they are not, they are not confused. Then let's not mix the two. But only, let me put it this way. If I'm in love with your sister, we, 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 we are together. Uh, of course, you can't blame me when uh, it, it, our, our relationship ends. And of course, when, once our relationship ends, because the love would have faded, I would start to see that, uh, uh, they are, they are that the weaknesses I was ignoring, uh, because the blind of love that I had for your sister, the, because now love is no longer there, I would start to see them of, of, of what they are. But don't forget that pre, uh, 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 Jacob Zuma was a, a former president of the ANC. And it's also not true that we rushed to Ganja. In fact, we rushed to Kauti. Because it was a resolution of conference that as a new leadership, we must get uh, wisdom of those who led the organization before us. We started with President Mbegi, we got a lot of engagement. We started, well, then we, we went to President, um, yeah, we to Jacob Zuma, and then we got um, what, we, what, what we received from him. Yeah. But what you must know is that uh, what, what is the problem that uh, Zuma is facing now is that uh, uh, after we were elected in 2022, you can you can notice uh, the the massive support of an ANC infrastructure going with him to court every court appearance has reduced because while we, we supported him, but we realize, we realize that we can't put more support on an individual with the organization and the people of KwaZulu Natal that are facing so many challenges. We channeled all our infrastructure and our resources and our energies to serve the people of KwaZulu Natal that are at the end, believe in the African National Congress leadership. Then I think uh, he's trying to build an alternative that, that when uh, his court case starts and resumes, then uh, some, 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 some army that will also go to court and support him. Of course, uh, in, the, in, the, in the process of transformation and leading society and developing as a human being, you commit mistakes from time to time. I think one thing that we should also appreciate is the ANC collectively. I think the support that we've given uh, to Zuma at some point, it created an impression to him that is above the African National Congress. That's why when that support is no longer there, he feels that the ANC is ANC of Ramaphosa. But put differently, Tony, it may happen that at a time he was leading the ANC, he literally and honestly believed that this is the ANC of Jacob Zuma. Now, when Ramaphosa takes over, he thinks it's the ANC of Ramaphosa. Well, in a way, Mr. Mtolo, I think I take that as an admission that you take responsibility for building almost a cult around the persona of former President Jacob Zuma. And I suspect this is a regret coming from you. Let, let's finalize questions around former President Zuma. What's his membership status, by the way, within the ANC right now? He has left the ANC. How do you mean? He's not, a, he's not a member of the ANC. He has left the ANC. He says he's going to die in the ANC. He won't die in the ANC. He's living outside the ANC now. Unless when he dies, he will die. Then in the mortuary will convert himself to the ANC. But now he's living outside the ANC now. He won't die in the ANC. So why don't you formally expel him then? We can't expel an unmember. He's not a member of the ANC. That's very confusing. Because you were able not to... Confusing. No, no, it is confusing. I'll tell, you why it's, I'll tell you why it's confusing. Only, only, Julius, Malema, only, Julius Malema was expelled from the ANC, Mr. Mdolo. Uh, Ace Nahashide was expelled from the ANC. They never left the ANC. They never left the ANC. Never the ANC. Left the ANC. Julius Malema never left the ANC. Julius Malema fought for his membership until the last, until the last breath. He never left the ANC. That's why they were expelled, because of serious misconduct. So, let me tell you how you lose the membership of the ANC court. The membership of the ANC is taken as a South African voluntarily on a voluntary basis. And uh, you commit to the membership oath of the ANC, its structures, its constitution, and all that. But you can lose the membership of the ANC at least on these three pieces. If you die as a, as a human being, once you are declared dead and home affairs stamp your ID as deceased, your membership of the ANC is gone. You can't be a member in your death. Then if you, 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 you are expelled from the ANC by, by formal dispute process, 
Or if you yourself terminate your membership, that's what Zuma has done. He has terminated his membership of the NC. He has lost the membership. Well, Mr. Mdolo, let's agree to disagree on the question of a person dying and therefore ceasing to be a member of the ANC because you can die, but you will still be celebrated as a former leader of the ANC. No, 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 I'm, saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, no, 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 don't be like that, don't be like that. You, you can't say the ANC can say we have one million members. In those one million members, it also count 300,000 people who are deceased. It's not possible. Even IEC can't say South African voters are 48 million, in the 48 million. It also includes 10 million data diseases. And that's what I'm meaning. Technically, I'm, t I'm dealing with technical issue here. All right. Let's conclude the conversation. We have run out of time. The march against West Bank. Have you satisfied yourself that the accusations against this bank are based on tangible evidence? Because Action SA has asked the Human Rights Commission to investigate, but you have taken the step that says we are going to march against this bank because they are guilty of this. Have you satisfied yourself that these are factual um, allegations that the bank must then answer to? Yeah, I remember told you, it is it is some portals credible from their own system, their own employee. We have released this information that they are charging black clients double than or above, far above than their white counterparts, which we define it as a, a systematic institutionalized racial uh, economic sabotage against the uh, uh, black uh, uh, clients of the West Bank. And then they must be held accountable for that. We must raise that, we must conscientize our people because particularly the black mythic threat, uh, they are suffering from their cars are being possessed and all that. All you discover is not because they can't afford it, it's because a bank has decided to just rationally discriminate them and give them more rates and so that they must pay more bonds and pay more, more, in, sorry, they must pay more uh, uh, vehicle uh, 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 repayment in terms of their installment. Which so is in the bad. main, so, I so think they must be held accountable. I'm sorry to cut in. So in the main, your march is to drive what message exactly? Are you calling for the bank's license to be revoked? What exactly? Our message first is to contractize all those who still believe that a, a West Bank can give them a vehicle finance, they must know that West Bank does not give them a vehicle finance for them to finance their vehicles, but it gives them a vehicle finance to support us them economically, which has to raise consciousness so that they must know that it, it can't be the bank, the bank of choice, but also that authorities, they must uh, uh, work tirelessly and help the West Bank uh, 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 accountable. But at a, at a, at a, at a, at a, as a last resort, if West Bank does not at least apologize, refund uh, money to those people that were racially uh, suffer racial uh, 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 segregation in terms of giving out uh, loans uh, and lending, then uh, uh, the, 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 the license uh, should be revoked. Begim Dolo is the secretary of the ANC in Guazul Natal. Thank you very much for your time, sir.